Hey, happy birthday, Brian. Bonnie and I got you a big stick. Wow, thank you. Uh, Joe, isn't that the same stick we gave you for your wedding? You told me it was a magic wand. I pointed it at a bus. The bus crashed. That's all I'm saying. Well, fellas, I'm up. Those who doubt the wand's power suffer the wand's wrath. Leviticus 26.12 Giggity morning, everyone. Lois, can I see you in the other room for a second? Sure. All right. Peter, what would you like for breakfast? Chocolate chip pancakes. Lois, can I see you in the other room for a second? So, oh, what did you want? Uh, wa waffles? Yeah, sure. Lois, can I see you in the other room for a second? I couldn't perform a third time, so we just read. You don't like cats, do you? I hate them. Sit. Three of Lois's sweaty jogging bras. Have I really been that good of a boy? It depends. I got a cat problem. You get rid of my cat, this is all yours. Done. Go ahead, boy. <laughs> Oh, yeah, she ran fast because Bonnie was watching. I've noticed that you're never around when Superman's here. Are, are you Superman? What is you, whacked in the head? I'm clock, plain old clock. Okay, back to our Boston newspaper job. Spotlight. What? Haven't had this much fun since I went to that graveyard. Yeah, how do you like how this sounds, huh? Try cleaning up this mess while you burn in hell. Peter, you ready to go? Almost. But oh, what do you mean you don't like that? Just try it. Maybe you will. Hi, Glenn. This is Dexter. Aw, and who's this little guy? Uh, uh, this is Harvey, named after Weinstein. Uh, because you can see his balls when he answers the door. What have I done? This is all my fault. I drove my best friend away, and now he's alone and dying on a bus somewhere. Oh, also, you can have my penis enlarging machine. It's in my closet. Ah, did you look? Will you, will you text me if you looked? What are you guys talking about? Peter and Quagmire exchanged underwear. Ha! Classic. Me? I don't wear underwear. I just wear trunks. Tree guy. That'll hit you when you're driving home. Hey, look at this table. What are you guys talking about? Engaged? Oh, come on, Quagmire, you're killing me, man. Babe, babe, please, babe, please stop crying. Look, every couple needs to take things at their own speed. It doesn't mean I love you any less. Okay, look, how about we look at rings this weekend? I, I don't know, Zales, probably? Well, that's what we can afford since only one of us has a job. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I, uh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean that. <sighs> Why don't you join me for dinner, he said, ruining his life. What do you mean you're blind? You, you can't see me right now? No! But you can still see, like, the stove and laundry, right? Morning, beautiful. I have the Uber guy sleep outside, so he's ready when you're ready. But first, a dump so long I will be able to read everything Garfield ever wrote. <laughs> John. But, Mom, we got you a balloon. Shh, shh, shh. She doesn't know about the balloon. Don't worry, Lois. We'll be right by your side the whole time and not outside playing with a balloon. <laughs> I love you, balloon. Oh, 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 no, no. I'm coming, balloon. Don't tell your mother about this. Hey, you don't think the guys are talking about us, do you? Oh, I don't think so. Oh, my God, I still can't believe they wore each other's underwear. Like, can you imagine? I know, right? Like, icky times a thousand. Hey, this is crazy, but what if we wore each other's underwear just for a joke? What? No, that's a terrible idea. Nah, just, just joking. He's so stupid! Can I be done now? Uh, this next one's called Break On Through. <laughs> yes, Break On Through. We now return to Blind Flicks, the streaming service for blind people. 
I can't believe it's the year 2034, Earth is uninhabitable, and we're hurtling through space to find a place for humanity to start again. Thankfully, we are Chris Evans and Vanessa Hudgens and have sexy bodies that will make beautiful, racially nuanced babies. I love you, Chris Evans. I love you too, Vanessa Hudgens.